All right, let's get to the main event of this week's fight night. And this one got me generally excited because I'll be honest, last week wasn't bad. I mean, the flyweights delivered, but this time, this time we've got a real banger on our hands. Anthony Hernandez is squaring off against Mikhail Pereira. And I think we're in for a treat. The middleweight division has been heating up and this matchup feels like the MMA gods are finally throwing us a bone after teasing us with a decent but not great card. The fight holds significant weight for both competitors as they both are poised to be the future of the middleweight division and I can easily see either of them breaking into the top 5 soon. Right now, the division is gaining some serious momentum with a strong pool of rising talents. Even if you take these two fighters out of the equation, there is still a stacked lineup with the names of Cajo Brajajo, Nasruddin Imavov, and Brandon Island, and many more. The middleweight division is definitely heating up and there's fighters that are forefront of that resurgence. I mean just look at this matchup between the two, Pereira's unpredictability against Hernandez's relentless pressure. That's the kind of clash that makes you want to sit up and take notice. You can see a cartwheel kick in one second and a wild grappling exchange in the next because with Pereira you never know what's coming. This feels like a fight night that's finally deciding to give us something memorable so let's buckle up and break this down. Starting with Pereira, this guy is a walking highlight reel. He's explosive, powerful, and unpredictable. It's like he's got dynamite in his hands, and he's that kind of fighter who makes his opponents question their life choices every time they get hit. On the other side, we've got Anthony Hernandez, better known as Fluffy, who's a cardio machine. He grinds his opponent down with relentless pressure and doesn't let you up. So the big question here is, can Pereira land that early knockout early or does Hernandez drag him into deep waters and drown him? Hernandez is a grappler at heart, but his striking has improved. Still, let's be honest, he's not winning a striking battle with Pereira, at least not early. He's had trouble with body shots before, remember with his fight with Kevin Holland? That's something that Pereira can look to exploit, but Hernandez is that kind of guy who survives tough spots and stays in the fight and eventually drags you into his world where it's all about grinding and grappling. Now, let me guys ask you something. Do you guys remember how Pereira bursted onto the UFC scene? The guy was basically doing backflips, cartwheels, basically mashing every button in the UFC game. It was chaotic, but also unsustainable. Since then, he calmed down and became more strategic, but he still fights like he's got cheat codes, explosives, and always dangerous. The thing is, Pereira is a first round killer. His last three wins were all finishes under 66 seconds. And the thing is, he doesn't need that much time to do damage. But what happens when he doesn't get that early finish? That's where things get interesting in this fight. We haven't really seen Pereira tested in the later rounds. And this is his first five round fight. If Hernandez can survive the early storm, we're going to see how much gas Pereira really has. The deeper this fight goes, the more it plays into Hernandez's strength. And Hernandez's pressure is relentless. He's always in your face, grinding you down, never giving you a second to breathe. And that man's chin, it's rock solid, man. He's taken some hard shots from hitters and kept coming. That makes him dangerous because Pereira could land his best shots and Hernandez might just eat it and just keep moving forward. Now, we have to talk about the grappling. Pereira has shown he can grapple. He's been, he submitted his last two opponents, but those guys aren't on Hernandez's level. Fluffy's a different beast on the mat. He doesn't just look for takedowns, he grinds you down, makes sure you're uncomfortable, and doesn't let off your hooks. Pereira's 94% takedown defense is impressive though, but we haven't seen him deal with a relentless grappler like Hernandez. If Hernandez can get him to the ground, Pereira could be in trouble. But let's not count out Pereira out just yet. His unpredictability and his freakish athleticism makes him a threat every second of the fight, as long as it stays standing up. He's shown that he can deal with pressure, and even if Hernandez gets close, Pereira can explode with a quick combination to force him back. It's gonna be tough for Hernandez to consistently close the distance without eating something big. What makes this fight intriguing though is that both guys have a clear path to victory. For Pereira, it's all about landing something big early, and if he can get that highlight real knockout, we all go home happy and Pereira keeps moving up the middleweight ladder. But if Hernandez can survive the early onslaught, things shift in his favor. The longer the fight goes, the more it plays into the wheelhouse. 
Let's not forget that Pereiro has won decisions before he beat Carlos Williams and Nico Price and Santiago Ponzinibbio on points, but those wins weren't dominant. He had to dig deep and there were moments in each of those fights where he looked vulnerable. That's what makes this fight so interesting. If Hernandez can survive the early danger and keep grinding, Pereira might start to fade. Now, Pereira is actually the underdog here, which might surprise some people. The guy's been on a tear, finishing his last few opponents in devastating fashion. But his issue is that he's still not the most defensively sound fighter. He tends to get backed up, and if Hernandez can apply pressure and make him work, Pereira might be in trouble keeping up, especially if the cardio starts to fail him in the later rounds. And for Hernandez, the key is simple. Get the fight to the ground, on the feet, he has a disadvantage, especially against someone as explosive as Pereira. But if he can't land those takedowns, it could be a short night for him. But once this fight hits the mat, Hernandez has the tools to finish it. He's submitted guys who are no joke on the ground, like Rodolfo Ferreira. So Pereira better be prepared for that. At the end of the day, this fight is a classic striker versus grappler matchup, and it's hard to pick a clear winner. Pereira's striking is wild, unpredictable, and dangerous. He's got that power to end the fight with one shot. As for Hernandez, on the other hand, he's a grinder who takes you into deep waters and makes you question why you ever stepped in the cage with him to begin with. If I had to lean one way, mm, I'll probably go with Pereira. His explosiveness and unpredictability might just be too much for Hernandez, especially early on. And I honestly think that Pereira is going to get himself another first round finish. And then he's probably going to finish it with a backflip, landing on Hernandez and TKOing him. And I don't even get how that backflip is still legal. But I guess it's cool enough that they're like, fuck it, we'll just keep laying this live. And honestly, if we're going to be real here, I think both the organization and a lot of fans would prefer to see Michael Pereira come out on top this weekend. I mean, his entertaining style and potential to become a mainstream star makes him a fan favorite. I'll admit, I'm a bit biased. I hope he wins too. I believe his unique flair and charisma would be great for the sport overall and his rise could bring even more attention to the division but it would not surprise me or shock me if Fernandez survived the early storm drag Pereira into the later rounds and grind out a win we've seen him pull off an upset before and he's got the style to do it again at the end of the day this fight can go either way and that's what makes it so exciting whether it's Pereira landing something wild or Hernandez dragging him into a war of attrition, we're in for a show. This is what MMA is all about with two guys with a completely different skill set, both guys with a chance to win, and the outcome is up in the air. So let's sit back and just enjoy the ride. But yeah guys, that's the end of the video and I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and like always guys, I'll see you guys on my next one.